sort of be your master teacher of chemistry at Raylandu. Welcome to Sprint Ion session number two, chemical reactions and equations. So in the last session, what we discussed was chemical reactions and equations is the chapter name. And to that, writing chemical equations and balancing it, identifying the type of chemical reactions, decomposition reactions, displacement reaction. We did solve a few um, how to balance the chemical equation and few questions in very less amount of time. What will we be discussing in today's session is double displacement reaction, endothermic exothermic reaction, redox reaction, reducing and oxidizing agents. Yes, very important. And the last one is rancidity and corrosion. Ready? This is the whole schedule. So 19th Jan, you already must have watched the session. Otherwise, go back and watch it, people. So today, 20th Jan, and till 27th, this sprint will uh, go on for pre-boards for class 10 CBSC. And if you are here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Why? Because it is free and you will get to learn a lot. Like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to hit that bell icon so that you will get all the notifications whenever I am live or whenever we are premiering the videos. So the thought for the day, code of the day, study like there is no tomorrow because if you keep putting off your studies for tomorrow, you will be probably too late. Maybe the other word is procrastinating. Yeah, do not do that. I have already told you how you can stop um, procrastinating. So do follow it because if you just keep putting it off the tomorrow, the next day will become again tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Just continues so do not do that get up now start studying because you all know hard work always pays off right yes so this is the first question one mark i have so in exam you will get two to three minutes but let's try to solve it within a minute what is the question in the following reaction mno2 plus 4hcl mncl2 plus 2h2o plus cl2 what is the, what they have asked identify the oxidant and the reductant hmm so oxidant oxidizing agent reductant is reducing agent always whenever you look at the reaction so this is a redox reaction that's for sure but which is undergoing reduction which is undergoing oxidation is something you have to learn first so mno2 to mncl2 what is happening do you see oxygen here no then it is a reduction reaction. MnO2 has been reduced to manganese chloride. Now, what has happened to HCl2, Cl2? It has been oxidized because there is removal of hydrogen. So, for MnO2, it is undergoing reduction, but HCl is helping it to undergo the reduction reaction. So, HCl, as it is undergoing oxidation, so it will be a reducing agent. MnO2, which is undergoing reduction, it will be an oxidant. Yes, let's check. Are we right? MnCl2 is the, uh, MnO2 is the oxidant, reductant is HCl. And I have seen students looking at the products whenever they are um, asked to identify oxidant or reductant or which is being reduced, which is being oxidized. Do not look at the products. Because the reactants may hoga na change, chemical change. Products are the results of the chemical change. Hai So oxidant, MnO2 because it is undergoing reduction. So it will be an oxidant. And reductant is HCl because it is undergoing oxidation. It's always the ulta. Right? Done. Next, the second question is, antioxidants are added to foods containing fats and oils. Give reason. Hmm antioxidant so it should work against oxygen hai na? anti why are they added to foods containing fats and oils hmm, rancidity so what is this rancidity so rancidity is a process where, where the there will be spoilage of food containing oil and fat because they undergo oxidation when it is exposed to oxygen Oxidation of the fats and oils present in the food which will lead to that unpleasant smell and taste is what is rancidity. When you add antioxidants, so it will prevent this oxidation. That is the reason we do add antioxidants like maybe, you know, BHAs, AHAs. These are the synthetic antioxidants. 
When fats and oils are oxidized, they become rancid and their smell and taste change. Usually substances which prevent oxidation, they are called as antioxidants. So it is very important um, for, for your body to have those antioxidants. Um, it prevents aging and all that. Are added to food containing food and oil so that there won't be any oxidation of fats and oils. Yes. Question number three. <clears throat> Why do we apply paint on iron articles? If you look around, yes, I can see paint on iron articles. Why? So we all know this process called as a rusting or corrosion of iron, where there will be oxidation of iron to iron oxide, which is basically rust and which is not at all a good thing. What happens when you apply paint on the iron articles? So this is the iron article. I'm just coating it with something else. There won't be any direct contact between the atmospheric oxygen, moisture and iron, right? There is a layer between, in between. So to stop that, to cut off the contact between oxygen, atmospheric moisture and the iron article, if you apply paint, you can actually prevent rusting for a good amount of time. Of course, these are um, the temporary methods. This is one of the temporary methods, like we have um, applying oil, grease, paints, so this will, of course, prevent rusting of iron articles. So what's the answer? See, we took less than a minute, no? Huh. Iron articles are painted to prevent them from rusting. Mm -hmm. After painting, iron surface does not come in contact with moisture and air, which causes rusting. To prevent iron articles from rusting, we apply paint on them. This is the answer which you have to write if they ask you these kind of questions. Why do you apply um, grease to your cycle chain to prevent it from rusting? Good. The next question is, what is a double displacement reaction? Explain with an example. What is a double displacement? Double displacement. So single displacement we know where more reactive element displaces less reactive metal from its solution. But double displacement mein kya hoga? There will be exchange of ions. Okay, you have two compounds, two solutions. There will be exchange of ions. Of course, you need to mix them together. There will be exchange of ions. That is what is a double displacement reaction. So examples, you have lots. You can take uh, barium fluoride plus aluminum sulfate. You will get barium sulfate plus aluminum fluoride. Most of the double displacement reactions, they are precipitation reactions as well. Most of them. Okay, I'm trying to generalize here because one of the product will be in the form of a precipitate. Maybe, you know, AgCl, silver chloride, the product of double displacement, it will be a precipitate, barium sulfate. There are lots of other compounds. So here we have taken sodium sulfate plus barium chloride, sodium sulfate plus barium chloride. See, don't take the solid ones solid ones may reaction nahi hoga, ji. so you should always take the aqueous solutions of them na2so4 bacl2 when you mix them together there will be exchange of ions that is sodium is going here and barium will come here so barium sulfate ba2 plus hoga these are the ions present okay so4 minus 2 na plus cl minus so first you have na and sulfate together barium chloride chloride ions were together now, in the solution, as these ions are free to move, so these both will combine, you will get barium sulfate and sodium chloride. The barium sulfate is a solid because it forms a white insoluble solid. Got it, people? Yes. So, what is a double displacement reaction? How can you define it? The reactions in which there is an exchange of ions between the reactants. You will have two reactants, they are aqueous solutions. So when you mix them together, when they are made to react with each other, there will be exchange of ions and you will get two different products. Hence, it is called as double displacement. Yay! So this is a two marks question. Always make sure to write the balanced equation. So this is already balanced. The Na2SO4 plus BaCl2, BaSO4 plus 2 NaCl because Na2SO4 it is Cl2. You have two chlorine atoms and two sodium atoms on the LHS. So obviously the number of atoms must be equal on both the sides. So one mark for the definition and one more mark for the reaction.
balanced equation okay so this question number 5 has three sub questions let's see a small amount of quick lime is added to water in a beaker mm -hmm. quick lime okay name and define the type of reaction that has taken place so this is three marks ka question so one 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 name and define the type of reaction that has taken place good write balanced chemical equation for the above reaction and the chemical name of the product formed list two main observations of this reaction so a small amount of quick lime is added to water let me just write so first they have asked us to name and define the type of reaction that has taken place i'll just write the equation first so that you can actually see right what kind of reaction is this a hoga ji hamara products sirf ek hi hai do reactant and ek product what kind of reaction is this yes very good it's a combination reaction name and define the type so you have named it half marks and what is how do you define a combination reaction a type of reaction in which two or more reactants combine to give you a single product is what is known as combination reaction hai na see cao plus ho or two different reactants but how many products are you getting only one that is what is a combination reaction the second question is write balanced chemical equation for the above reaction and the chemical name of the product formed so what is the chemical balanced chemical equation for this reaction so we have already written but let me write it here cao plus water because lime to quick lime is added to water hai na cao which twice will be formed now calcium on the lhs you have one on the rhs you have one always start with metals next i'll try to balance the number of oxygen atoms you have two oxygen atoms on the lhs only yeah two on the rhs balanced now two hydrogen on the lhs two hydrogen on the rhs so this the equation is already balanced and write the balanced chemical equation and the chemical name of the product form what is this this is calcium hydroxide the chemical name is calcium hydroxide it is also called as slate lime but the chemical name hoga calcium hydroxide the next question is list two main observations of this reaction so what are the main observations of this reaction so what do you see see observation and products are different right when you are writing the reaction we talk about what is happening in the atomic level and when it comes to observations what are you witnessing okay so i have a test tube i'm adding uh water to the quick lime so what is your observation that is what you have to write so i have seen students writing list the main uh, observations so calcium oxide will react with hydrogen so there will be a combination reaction that's that is something you can't see hai na calcium water are combining no so what is the observation so firstly this is an exothermic reaction exothermic reaction so a lot of heat energy will be evolved when you are adding water to quick lime and you can see that uh, you know buzzing zzz kind of thing when you are adding water to the quick lime that will be your two observations now you might be wondering how to write the zzz thing so calcium oxide reacts vigorously with water produces the slate lime so that zzz kind of thing so in a word uh, in sentence if you have to write you can write it as vigorously so i i will show uh, all these reactions once we start with the practicals but just imagine try to imagine what happens you can see the bubbles okay Zzz, yeah that's what it is so this is the answer so a question tha 3 marks ke liye and we have solved it within 3 minutes hai na name and define the type of reaction that has taken place write balanced chemical equation for the above reaction and the chemical name of the product form list two main observations of this reaction done 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 yay good so wanna join us gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks
Hmm, what do you have to do? Visit the link given in the description box and in the pinned comment where once you take the, take up the pro subscription, you will get to attend unlimited live classes, PSG unlimited. And even if you are watching the replay, you can still play the quiz and compete with the students throughout the world. You will get the handwritten notes of the master teachers. Assignments will be shared with you. Those notes so you can even download it. And very, very important is in-class doubt solving. There will be in-class doubt solving. Class teachers will be master teacher. Hoga. They will solve all of your doubts. And this is kind of a bonus thing. So you are getting all that. Plus, micro courses and crash courses are free for you. You can enroll into any micro course or crash course or whatever the new courses Louis Danto has come up with. More classes, lesser price. So you can go with the... Three months ka subscription that will be best for you now because you have around three to four months. So coupon code is SURPRO. Yes, SURPRO is the coupon code SURPRO. Do use it so that you will be saving a lot of money. 20% tak apko discount milega. Yay, very good. Okay, the next question is. When potassium iodide solution is added to a solution of lead to nitrate, uh, what is lead to nitrate potassium iodide? Its chemical formula should come to your mind when you are reading the question. In a test tube, a precipitate is formed. Yes, we all know it's a double displacement reaction. What is the color of this precipitate? Name the compound precipitated. Write the balance chemical equation for this reaction. List two types of reactions in which this reaction can be placed two types of reaction not one ha huh? so potassium iodide hoga aapka ki plus pb no3 twice so what will be the product pbi2 plus kno3 okay is this balanced i don't think so two ki abhi balance ho chuka hai na to potassium, yes, done. To iodine, done. PB, PB done. NO3 twice, NO3, yes. So what is the color of this precipitate? The precipitate form will be PBI2, lead iodide. So lead iodide is basically a yellow precipitate. Okay, KNO3 is a solution. <clears throat> what is the color of the precipitate? Yes, and the name of the, name the compound precipitated, it is lead iodide. Okay. A question, question number A or 1, done. Write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Oh, we have written this also. B, done. G, list two types of reactions in which this reaction can be placed. Look at the reaction. You have two reactants and there is exchange of ions. So, this is a double displacement reaction. Okay. One more is, what is this? insoluble solid it is also called as precipitate so this is a precipitation reaction so a what is the color of this precipitate yellow and um, name the compound precipitated lead iodide write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction 2ki plus pbno3 twice you will get pbi2 plus 2kno3 okay let's list two types of reactions in which this reaction can be placed it is double displacement and precipitation reaction Yay! Okay, we are done. Yes. So next is, wait, this is, it's not a neutralization reaction. A hoga, precipitation and double displacement. Okay. Double displacement it is. The next question, question number seven. You might have noted that when copper powder is heated in a china dish, the reddish brown surface of copper powder becomes coated with a black substance. Hmm. A. Why has this black substance formed? B. What is this black substance? C. Write the chemical equation of the reaction that takes place. How can the black coating on the surface be turned reddish brown? Okay, back reverse reaction. Hmm. Let's see. You might have noted when copper powder is heated in a china dish, the reddish brown surface of copper powder becomes coated with a black substance. Yes, we all know because it is getting oxidized. Yes. First, A is why has this black substance formed? Cu hoga plus O2, you will get CuO. So, copper oxide will be formed. That is 
black in color so oxidation of copper leads to the formation of copper oxide that is the reason this black substance has been formed due to the oxidation of copper that's the answer theek hai b is what is this black substance it is copper oxide cuo which is black in color right the chemical equation we have written that as well let me just balance the equation 2cu plus o2 2cu o2 2 done 2 2 done okay we have done this as well see 4 to 6 minutes you will get but we are trying to solve this within 3 minutes okay we are done with sub question c last one is how can the black coating on the surface be turned reddish brown okay so do not write the opposite arrow mark and tell ha huh? so cuo when hydrogen gas is passed over that uh, copper oxide layer there will be reduction of copper oxide to copper plus water will be formed now this is how you can turn that black coating into reddish brown because you will be getting your copper back this is the answer for the question number d or the sub question d let's see black substance is formed because of the oxidation of copper han ji the black substance formed is copper oxide yes cuo 2 cu plus o2 when you heat it you will get 2 cuo if hydrogen is passed over this heated material you will get back copper because there will be reduction very good reduction of copper oxide back to copper so this is what we studied so chemi writing chemical equations balancing done identifying the type of chemical reactions done decomposition reaction done displacement is also done and we even studied about the double displacement reaction in today's session endothermic exothermic reaction redox reaction reducing oxidizing agent and rancidity and corrosion so with this we are done with the chemical reactions and equations so here is your homework question do not forget to uh, post your answer in the comment section a student mixes sodium sulfate powder in barium chloride powder okay what change would the student observe on mixing the two powders justify your answer and explain how he can obtain the desired change so i have given you a hint when we were discussing um the question related about displacement reaction yes think an answer see a student mixes sodium sulfate powder in barium chloride powder i'm giving you a hint here think about it and post your answers in the comment section people so this was the second session of the sprint ion and we are done with first chapter chemical reactions and equations so previous session was on 19th jan at 8 pm where we did uh, discuss few questions related to chemical equations and reactions next session hoga 21st that is tomorrow we are starting with acids bases and salts so do not forget to attend the session you will get the notes as well check in the description sub sessions ka pdf aapko milega and if you are here for the first time do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and if you want to take up the pro subscription visit the link given in the description and in the pinned comment coupon code hai ji s u r p r o sir pro it is thank you so much if you have any queries feel free to reach out to me at sirabi.r@vedantu.com thank you so much bye bye take care